Hello, I'm doing my report on Nicholas Nixon. I chose the quote, I'm not very good at working for other people. I mostly make pictures because of some whim. With luck, I get a glimpse of something, and then it turns into an adventure, and then into a project. And that was said by Nicholas Nixon. I thought it was an interesting quote, and I'm not very good at working with people either when it comes to pictures, except uh, young children. And I just take my pictures. So I just thought it was an interesting quote, and it goes with me as well. Um, a little information about him. He was born in 1947 in Detroit, Michigan. He studied literature at the University of Michigan and he later studied photography at the University of New Mexico, Albuquerque. And that's where he got his photography degree. He um, got interested in photography by taking a class at the University of Michigan, which was his first photography class. And he really enjoyed it. And currently, he's a professor at Massachusetts College of Art and has been teaching since 1975. His photographic career. He's been exploring portraiture and social photography since the 1970s. And he's been taking a lot of other pictures besides that. But that's what he's really been into, at least from what I've noticed. Um, he's known for the Brown Sisters Project, where he photographed his wife and her sisters each year, starting in 1975 and ending in 2008. At least that was the latest that I could find, and that's what people have been saying. That was the last picture that he took. He has been featured in many museums, uh, such as the Museum of Modern Art in New York, I believe he is in Chicago, Texas, all over the place. And he uses large format cameras, specifically the 8x10 large format cameras. He said, for me, this is the print is what matters the most. Generally, the biggest possible negative has the most clarity, presence, and believability. And he's had a few books published as well. This is a picture um, in his Brown Sisters series. This was the first picture he took in 1975. It's a silver print. And this was his last picture in the series of the Brown Sisters, taken in 2008. They're all in the same position as they were before. I mean, they have different poses, but each person is in the same spot in the photo as they were in 1975. And he did this each year in between those two years. Nixon liked photographing his family and people around him a lot. Um, his images, this is a quote off of a website, his images capture the playful and challenging moments of daily life with family. And this photograph is his wife bathing in a tub with gentle light falling on her body. And it's just showing their everyday life. But I really like the image because of the lighting. It's just beautiful. This image is a close-up picture of Nixon's daughter, Clementine, taken in 1986. I like this picture because I've been taking pictures like this during the semester of my children and other people's children for my portfolio class. And 
so I found it interesting. This picture is called BB and Clementine. It's a picture of his wife and his daughter. I guess she's giving her a um, picture that she drew. It was taken in 1995. This picture is titled Tobin School or Tobin School. I'm not sure how to say it. Uh, it's a picture of his son, Sam. And I guess one of his friends, it looks like his friend is goofing off more in the picture. He's smiling and his son isn't. He's bored and concentrating in class and it was taken in 93. This uh, picture is his son and his wife and his wife is helping his son uh, with homework, I believe. And it was taken in 97. And this picture I really liked. I liked the vantage point on it. And the way the light is shining down on the subject. This is a picture of Nixon's son and daughter in Cincinnati in 1990. And this is a self-portrait that... Oops, sorry, I went to the wrong side. This is a self-portrait that he took in 2009. It's just interesting because it's different. It's not the average self-portrait that somebody takes. And it has great detail on the picture. I really enjoy it. And this picture is a self-portrait as well. And it's with his wife. And um, he took it in 2011. And I just love the detail in the eyes. And this photo is a picture of his wife as well in 98. And I just really enjoyed her expressions in, in the photo. Uh, this is somebody not personal. So now we're tran transitioning into pictures that he took of people that he didn't know. And he took this in 2008. And it's a close-up of them, and I just really thought it was a good picture with the details. And this picture is, I think, of his son as well in 99. And now we're going to go into landscapes. Nicholas Nixon also took pictures of landscapes. And I thought this was really interesting because it shows all the lines and everything. It's all the man-made landscapes, like the freeway, the buildings, cars in it, and everything. It's not landscape of uh, nature. It's human nature instead, I guess you could say. And this I thought was interesting because of the reflections and stuff. It was just a very neat photograph. This is called Six Layer View and I think it's interesting, the vantage point and everything. It's a really busy photograph but it's very neat. And this one's just beautiful. It shows the man-made structures in the landscape and everything, but with the water and everything, I just think it's a really beautiful photograph. And he took this in 1975. And that's a picture of a building, and I thought it was interesting. Uh, this picture is also a lands landscape that he took of uh, in Boston, and you can see all the lines leading down the way and to parts of the city. It's just very interesting. Uh, significance. His photos were very clear, and they had lots of details that were taken through the large format camera and he took a lot of close-up portraits which were very interesting I apologize for the typo 
and I personally was attracted more to the portraits than his landscapes but the landscapes were awesome as well and they had a lot of detail and they had a lot of interesting features in them I like his style of photography and so that's what he was known for he was also his biggest thing was the his brown sisters project though he was most known for that photographing his wife's and there was a total of 34 series photographs and it was neat because it showed pictures each year as they aged until he stopped the project and that's all there is thank you for listening to my project